I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my in front of all my people at my agency. Cat Williams just had an explosive interview on Club Shay Shay, and he exposed a serious list of black men in showbiz. And the allegations are heavy, to say the least. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is, TG Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's Cat only said what several people did before him. That is, P. Diddy used and abused lots of young, upcoming black artists with promises of fame and money. In other words, he coerced them into freak-offs for parts in movies or collaborations with him. Yeesh. This time, one of the names that came up was Bryshire Gray. And I'm like, so um, y'all want me to do that, what she just did? Right. Um, for y'all that weren't on the internet in the last few years, Bryshir Gray is a rapper turned actor. It was actually his passion for music that earned him his famous role as Hakeem Lyon on Fox's series Empire. When he stepped into the music industry as a teenager, Bryshir signed with the Raw Life music label to release singles like Homework and Respect. He later met his manager and entertainment industry legend Charlie Mack, who helped him get a role in Empire. His role earned him a huge fan following and a BET Award nominee for Best Actor in 2017. But Bryshire did not last long in Hollywood. In July 2020, he pleaded guilty to domestic abuse charges against his wife. Reportedly, he terrorized her for hours and almost choked her before she ran off to a stranger and asked them to call for help. Bryshire, that's not cool. No wonder your career is over. But now, people are saying that this was happening at the same time as Bryshire was being himself abused by P. Diddy and Will Smith. According to Trinity, Will Smith became a sort of mentor to Bryshire Gray. During their time together, Will Smith allegedly introduced Bryshire to Diddy. That's when Smith and Diddy forced Gray into intimate relations, aka freak-offs. People have pointed out this recurrent behavior for years. They do weird things in their house and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. Left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed and I guess he was really sick, he need a dog. Exactly. If that's mentorship, then I don't want any part of it. Now, here's the latest news. Brisher Gray is suing Ditti and Will Smith for 50 million, and he's doing the lawsuit together with YK Osiris. On January 2, this was reported. It is rumored that both young men were taken advantage of by Diddy. Rapper YK Osiris was rumored to have been romantically connected to Sean Diddy Combs in the past following social media posts of the two on vacation together in Jamaica in 2021. While on The Breakfast Club, YK attempted to shut down the rumors by denying the Diddy Boy toy allegations. For many, this is not a shock. If y'all Google Sean Diddy Combs, you'll see he has been accused of rape, sexual trafficking, and drugging multiple women, including singer Cassie, amongst many others. Meanwhile, speculation about the former being sexually interested in men has spread like wildfire online, and Cat Williams was among the first to confirm the rumors. They offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right, because uh, P. Diddy be wanting the body and you gotta tell him no. Diddy has notoriously kept his bisexual identity hidden no matter how many videos proving it popped up. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Usher was just one of the many men allegedly abused by Diddy with promises of good deals. Justin Bieber is another name that keeps popping up, as well as Breischer's fellow lawsuit man, YK Osiris. According to the streets, Diddy sent Osiris to Jamaica, where he forced him to hook up with him. And hey, it's not just the streets that are talking. 
David Arquette revealed what many were suspecting already, that Will Smith and Diddy have been getting freaky with each other and dragging young men into their creepy game, calling it all mentorship. When Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked into him, servicing his sugar daddy, Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. And here's the thing, when Jaguar Wright said young men left Will Smith and Diddy's gathering screaming for help, she also mentioned a few names. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. Yep, Brisher's name was in there. And many people found it super weird that, although Brisher was mentored by Diddy, his rap career never took off. Also, by the time Brysher was handed to Diddy by Will Smith, Diddy was already under investigation. During a debriefing session with federal investigators, James Roseman, the music manager turned cocaine kingpin, was reportedly questioned about the sexual preferences of entertainers, including whether Sean Diddy Combs was having sexual relationships with underage boys according to a U.S. District Court filing. So when Breischer's career went down the drain and he was arrested for assaulting his wife, people pointed out how disheveled he looked and blamed the industry for destroying him. Hey, when you do horrible stuff like this, you're the only one responsible for it. Still, people pointed out that it cannot be a coincidence that all the Will Smith Diddy stuff was going on at the same time. The list of alleged SA victims is only getting longer for Diddy. And with Brisher's lawsuit coming up, perhaps the end of Diddy's reign is around the corner.